blessed Sabbath to you here and around the world. I am your pastor, Pastor William Leckie, and this is your ministry, our ministry, following the Blueprint Ministry. Before we go into this short discourse, I invite you to pray. Let us pray. Loving Father, eternal God, we thank you for life, for health, and for strength. That you're still in the most holy place of the heavenly sanctuary. There is still hope for us, the human race. Lord, as we have this short discourse, I pray that it will be to your name's honor and glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I have come to you at a very peculiar time. You have not normally seen me at this hour. But that shows how important is this message that ought to come to you. I want to read from the book Prayer, page 71, paragraph 4, or originally from Christ's Object Lessons, page 145 and 146. It reads, Our part is to pray and believe. Watch unto prayer. Watch and cooperate with the prayer here in God. A prayer here in God. Bear in mind that we are laborers together with God. 1 Corinthians chapter 3 and verse 9. It says, speak and act in harmony with our prayers. It will make an infinite difference with you whether trial shall prove your faith to be genuine or show that your prayers are only a form. My brethren, here, and around the world, I fully understand how important it is in your spiritual life when you tune in each week and feast on spiritual food and fresh bread from heaven as you learn, as we learn, and grow in Christ. However, I'm sorry to announce that for tomorrow, as is usual, there will be no live stream. As we will be, church, spending the day mm -hmm, in prayer and fasting for several reasons. We know that it is Satan's plan to destroy this ministry and God's work. And so we are called to pray. Not a specific reason in this regard is controversies that are going on in your ministry, our ministry. Issues that cannot be made public at this time. In due season, I, I, may, I may share some of the issues as God impresses my mind. The individuals, I must say, involved in this I still love and care genuinely for. I know and understand the great issue in the great controversy is between good and evil, God and Satan. So I will not carry or harbor any hatred towards my brethren. Mm -mm. Please, please, I am appealing to you everywhere. Do not listen to any gossip about me or any other leader of the FTB ministry. I have not shared anything public at this time. So to listen to only one side of a story, this will constitute gossip. As we are in the closing scenes of Earth's history and the recording angels are taken Every word, action, motive. I want to remind us of the tribe of Dan, who was cut off because of backbiting in Genesis chapter 49. This church, my brothers and sisters, this is not the first time that our ministry is going through a crisis. God brought us through then, and I have confidence. He will do it again. I want to go to John chapter 17 and verses 20 to 23. This is Jesus' prayer. 
Verse 20, it reads, Neither pray I for these alone, as he referenced the twelve, but for them also which shall believe on me through their word. That's you and I. Verse 21, that they all may be one, as thou, Father, art in me, and I in thee. That they also may be one in us, that the world may believe that thou hast sent me. Verse 22, and the glory which thou gavest me, I have given them, that they may be one, that you and I and us may be one, even as we, Jesus referencing himself and his Father, are one. Verse 23 says, he says, I in them and thou in me, that they, the twelve, may be made perfect in one, and that the world may know that thou hast sent me, and hast loved them as thou hast loved me. I'll, lay, I'll make this clear. We will keep in contact right here. We will announce when we will resume our regular live stream session. Stay tuned for that. But for now, I sincerely, my beloved brethren, solicit your prayers at this time. May the blessings of the Lord rest upon you as you worship him on another blessed Sabbath day. Keep faithful. Keep prayerful. Blessings. Remember, Jesus is coming again. Let us pray to close. Loving Lord, eternal Father, let your will be done in all of us. For your work will be finished in a blaze of glory. And we want to be a part of that work. Save us. For we cannot save ourselves, we pray. In Jesus' name. Amen. Maranatha.